two. What it do? It's your boy Keegan. Back at it again with another video. And today I got a video for you guys telling you the five different things that make you an average basketball player. So another short video for you guys. We wanted to do something outside, but it was raining. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start this video. I just want to go ahead and apologize if you hear any background now background noise ahead of time because there's a lot of different stuff going on we actually just got a dog too so it's a lot going on right now but bear with me i'm gonna try to do this video in one take so first thing that makes you average when it comes to basketball is those people that don't have any heart so that's the first thing right there if you don't have any heart for basketball you're not going to be special in it look at it with even your work a sport a relationship, anything you do, if you don't have your heart into it, it's not going to make you anything special. It's not going to be special. It's always going to be average. So that's number one. The second thing I have for you guys is those guys who don't play defense. They just sit there and they only play offense. So they only do one thing. To be great, you have to do it all. You can't be just doing one thing because it's not going to get you anywhere. And especially with defense, if you're they don't care how good you are as a scorer. If you're getting scored on every play, no one's going to want you because you're always a liability on the court. You're doing more harm than good. Then that brings me to my third point, which is, are you a team player? Uh, team players are people who will do anything to make sure the team wins. So sometimes they may need you to score 20 points, 30 points. Sometimes they just might need you to get up there. If you're a big guy or something, they might need you to get 15 rebounds and, hey, that's it. You move the ball around. Or they might need you to just get them assists. A team player does what the team needs to win. They don't look at individual stats. So those cocky players that are always looking at what they did and not thinking about the team, no one cares if you drop 60 points, bro, and you lose. Congratulations to you, but the team lost. No one really cares. You're done playing. So that's the tip number three. Uh, to be is make sure you're a team player. Number four is you want to make sure you want to stop thinking you can do it all. So players that think they can do it all, once again, it kind of leads back to my third point, but people that think they can do it all, they act like they don't need any help. They don't pass. They only shoot the ball for themselves. They, they, they take the ball. They go all the way down the court. They don't even move the ball around. They talk like, they, like they're better than everybody else when it's a team sport. Stop thinking you can do it all. You might be the best player on your team, but you still need help because it's a five-man game. You don't want to play five-on-one, and you don't want your teammates to turn against you. So stop thinking you can do it all and work with your team. And the fifth and final tip I have for you guys on what makes a player average is they don't study the game. Look at your best players, yo. I'm talking about Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. So you can even go way back in the day to people like uh, Magic Johnson and them. They studied who they were playing against way ahead of time. Kobe Bryant had this thing called detail or something like that on ESPN where he was literally focusing on players' weaknesses and strengths. And he would look at that and take note of what they like to do. This player likes to get to his right hand and then pull up on the right side. This player likes to step back on the left wing. Studying the game, studying players will set you way ahead, way ahead of other people because then you'll know what that person's gonna do ahead of time, which will make you not average. It'll make you advanced because you already know what people wanna do. You know their tendencies. So this was a short video. I know I usually break these things up into different points with the little fingers and the numbers and stuff, but. I feel like this video would be good to just say it all in one take so you guys can just get right to it. And so you guys won't skip it as well. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's make sure we get, uh, make sure we keep hitting these videos up, watching them, sharing them, getting these subscribers up because I'm trying to hit 400 subscribers, guys. I'm trying to, hopefully when things get better, I'm trying to start playing some basketball again, making some like videos of me playing against people and stuff. So when we, when we get back to normal, those videos will come. But right now, we still have to work on what we got going. But I thank you guys for staying true. The true fans, the true subscribers, you guys know who you are. But anyway, let's get, let's get this video up to a good amount of views. Let's get some new subscribers. And as always, it's been your boy Keegan, and I'm out.